Hey everyone, it is January 27th, I believe, um, about 4 o'clock. It is 8 degrees in Illinois, um, like in the Chicago area. It is so cold. I don't know if you can see my breath. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So today, I am going to go to Barnes & Noble. I haven't been to Barnes & Noble in so long, and I have a gift card to go, so I'm like, why not just make a video out of this? Um, I don't know if I'm brave enough yet to bring my camera in the store because my camera's big. Like, I don't, you guys probably, here, let's see. Can you see it? Yeah. Like, it's big. So, it's, it would be super obvious for me to go in there in the store with it. <laughs> and I don't know if you're allowed to film in there, even though I know some YouTubers have. I don't know. So, I might be brave enough to put it, bring it in there. I'm not sure. If anything, I'll probably try to get some clips from my phone. Um, those definitely won't be as good as my camera, but I guess it's better than nothing. So yeah, I have a gift card. I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble. I don't have any plans of any books specifically. Um, I'm just going to look around and see what they have. And I figured, why not get out of the house? I've been in the house all day, and I just need to get out of the house, take a breather, go book shopping which I haven't done in so long. I buy like most of my books, if not all, online. Like through thrift books, Amazon, things like that. So we'll see what I can find. Hopefully I can find something and I will update you guys at Barnes & Noble. to show you guys what I got from Barnes & Noble. First of all, I just want to say that I really love the bags that they put your books in. They're just, they have like a really long, I don't know, it's from, a, is this from Romeo and Julia? Yeah, it is. I don't know, they're cool bags. Alright, so I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five books. Um, nothing too crazy. I just saw most of these, I think all of these were on sale. Um, so one thing I discovered going to Barnes & Noble is that books, well I didn't discover this but I rediscovered it I guess, books are extremely um, expensive, especially since I've been shopping on like thrift books and used, you know, buying used books. So I'm kind of used to those prices now but I did have a gift card so. Yeah, I couldn't justify spending like $20 on a, a book when I could just buy it used for like $5. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, all these were on sale. I'll just show you this one first. This one I got for my son, 101 Dalmatians. Whoa, I almost hit myself in the face with it. Um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a cute book. He's too young to know what this even is yet, but when he's older, you know... I'm gonna read it to him, and this one was $7.98, so I thought that was pretty cute. There's a bunch of books like this on sale for kids. Okay, next one is The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. I did read Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris um, while I was in, on vacation in Florida last year, and I flew through it in like two or three days. I really, really like that book. And I've seen mixed reviews um, on this book. So, I definitely want to give it a chance, though, because I liked B.A. Paris' first book. Is B.A. Paris a woman or a man? I should probably know that, but I don't. Um, but yeah, I liked the first book that came out by that author, so I figured I'd try this one out, and this one was only $5.98, so not too bad. And then I got Since We Fell by Dennis... Of course there's a sticker over the author's name. Dennis Lehane. So I've seen a couple of people talk about this book too. Um, I don't know if it's a YA book, but apparently it's a thriller. Um, Gillian Flynn has blurbed it, Lee Child, Kate Atkinson, Richard Price, James Lee Burke. Um, I read a, a little bit of the synopsis in the store. I'll just read what Kristen, oh yeah, Kristen Hannah blurbed it too. 
It says, compelling page turner of a novel from a master storyteller at the top of his game. So, um... It sounds like it's about this woman, Rachel, which, again, another thriller with the girl named Rachel. Like, what? Why do they always pick the name Rachel? I don't know. Um, but it basically sounds like she is starting to go crazy and lose control, and she's trying to find strength within herself to conquer unimaginable fears. I don't know. It sounds good. Psychological insight and tension. Yeah. So this sounded good. I wanted to check this out. This one was only $6.98 and it's a nice hardcover, so that's cool. Let's see what the inside looks like. Oh, just blue with black. Is it black? Yeah. Black title. It's kind of cool. Alright, so that's Since We Fell. Now this one I was really excited to see for, and it was cheap. Sorry if you hear my son in the background. He's getting tired. Um, my fiance's home, so he's watching. But yeah, The Child by Fiona Barton. I've seen this book a lot around too, so this was cheap. It was $5.98 for a nice hardcover. Um, I honestly don't even know what this is about, but it is a thriller, and she also wrote The Widow, which was pr pretty popular. I think a lot of people like that book, so, you know, a lot of people blurb this. Stephen King, um, Lisa Gardner, Lee Child, Claire McIn McIntosh. Clever and compelling, engrossing, irresistible, very satisfying, one of the year's must reads, twisted psychological thriller you'll have trouble putting down. So I have no clue what this is about, but I just want to go into it blind, and that seems to be the best way to go into thrillers, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, and the last one is The Girl Before by J.P. Delaney. I've seen this book a lot around, too. This one's got, like, an interesting premise. Um, I don't want to read the whole thing, but... It says, please make a list of every possession you consider essential to your life. The request seems odd, even intrusive, and for the two women to an who answer, the consequences are devastating. So it's Emma and Jane are the two women, and I don't know. It says, in a thrilling psycho psychological thriller with, with unexpected twists and turns, the girl before spins one woman's seeming good fortune and another woman's mysterious fate through a kaleidoscope of duplicity, death, and deception. So yeah, this is originally $27, and I got it for $6.98, so I like that, and it's a nice hardcover. Um, so yeah, those are the books that I got. I still have money left over on my gift card, so maybe I'll go back at some point and use that up, but those were the books I got, and I'm pretty happy with that. There were so many books I saw that I wanted, but they weren't on sale, and again, I couldn't justify spending like 20 bucks for a brand new book when I can buy it used, so... Yeah, I hope you guys like this Barnes & Noble shop with me, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, so today is the next day. I'm including this extra extra clip because I decided to go to Barnes & Noble again but at a different location just to see, you know, how they differed and if I could find anything else just to use up my gift card and I am off today so I figured why not and I did pick up three things. They gave me this cute little bag. I have to say, I do like the Barnes & Noble better than the one that was by my house. Um, it's just, it was a little bit more organized and a little bit more spacious, but for the most part, you know, they had the same things out. But I did find this book by Sandra Brown. It's called Sting. Um, so I have a couple co-workers that read Sandra Brown a lot, so I'm interested to see 
how her writing is and if I like it. I really don't know too much about this. I read like briefly what the synopsis is about and then I looked it up to see if it had any good reviews and it did. So I'm like, I'll just buy it and it was $7.98 and it's a really nice hardcover. If you guys like the way book smells, I'm sure you do. So I'm not the only weirdo. And it's got her picture on the back, Miss Sandra Brown. So I got that one. I love having new hardcovers. I, like I said, I barely ever buy new books, like, so it's really nice. And then I got The Identicals by Ellen Hildebrand. This looks like such a perfect summer read, and for some reason I've been in the mood to read something that's like a little bit more summery and light. Um, I'll probably wait a couple weeks to read this, maybe like around Valentine's Day, even though I don't think it's a romance. I know her books um, are usually contemporaries, and it's got a lot of there's like some mysteries in her books too. I have another one of hers that I haven't read yet. So I'm excited to get to this. Um, something about two sisters and um, secrets, you know, stuff like that. So there's a little mystery in that one, which I really like. And the last thing I got, I saw this journal um, at the other Barnes and Noble yesterday and it spoke to me for some reason and it was $15, which is so crazy for a journal, but it's really nice quality. Um, I figured, you know, I could put down, like, YouTube ideas and things like that, and, like, when I finish a book, the date, how many days it took me to read it. Um, I also bought a specific book journal on Amazon that, like, you can record the rating of your book, and it asks you, like, little questions about the books you've read, which I really like. I need to start doing that because I'm finding at the end of the month, like, when I'm going to be doing um, wrap-ups, I'm struggling to remember what books I read <laughs> and you know as I'm reading I want to take down notes so I can come out with uh, better content as far as like giving summaries of what books are about and things like that so I want to start taking notes while I'm reading I want to write down the books I've read you know my ratings and things like that and check this out holographic inside like that oh my god and then it's just like blank lined pages but I don't know, for some reason this one spoke to me and I had to get it. And then the end is like holographic too. And if you don't know, I love moons and I love stars. I have a moon tattoo to my finger. So yeah, I don't know, this one spoke to me. So I got three things at this Barnes & Noble. Now my gift card is officially out. Um, guys, I love going to Barnes & Noble. Like, I think I spent an hour in there and I spent like an hour and a half in the one that I went to yesterday. It's just so peaceful. It's just so peaceful. And I just like reading and, you know, people don't really say like, hey, can I help you? Sometimes they do, but like I prefer when people don't do that, like the employees. I don't know if that's mean or rude of me, but I just want to browse and if I need help, I'll ask. And some, most of the time at Barnes & Noble, they don't really bother you, which is what I like. And you just browse, look at books, and you're in heaven. So I got a few clips of me walking around looking at the books, so hopefully those turned out okay. Um, it is snowing. Can you guys see that? It's probably too bright, but it's snowing, it's nasty outside, and I still have to go to the store, and after I go to the store, I'm going to pick my son up from my mom's house. Earlier we had an appointment for his helmet just to check up and everything's looking good. So yeah, I'm kind of dreading driving in the snow. I hate it. On the way here, it was pretty slippery, so now I'm sure it's going to be worse. But yeah, oh my god. It's like coming down pretty good. So yeah, I gotta go to the store, gotta get some groceries, and... Um, yeah, that's really about it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed looking around at Barnes Noble with me, and um, enjoyed looking at what I bought, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!